Hello and welcome to another DaddyJamesFilms.webs.com's video tutorial. And this tutorial is going to be a video response for Mindpower's video contest or how-to contest that he's having. So I'm only going to have five minutes to do this tutorial. So that means I won't be able to go in details on each of uh, the programs I'm going to show you on here. But I do have separate tutorials on these programs and you'll be able to find that in, in the description over here or down here if you're watching the... the um, the other side's video. Anyhow, let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. Uh, the first, the first thing when you first get a new computer, uh, the first program that you need on your computer is a antivirus. So um, the best, if you want to go the free route, you can. Automatically, you'll get an antivirus when you get the new computer. Of course, everybody knows that, and that's Norton or McAfee. Most people don't like Norton. Um, Norton has actually gotten a little bit better. Um, but you have to pay for it. So if you want to go the free route, that's what I'm going to show you in this tutorial. Now, um, uh, the number one free antivirus out today would be Avera. And you would need to get that, okay? And you can get Avera from download.com. I'll have the link over there in the description. Another thing that you would need is Firefox browser. You need to get the Firefox browser installed on your computer. Uh, the reason why is because Internet Explorer is not very good. Uh, Mozilla Firefox is like the top of the line web browser. So you should go ahead and download that and install it. All you have to do is Google uh, file, uh, Firefox or do a search for it and download it and install it. Okay, another good program to have on here, especially if you are going to be shopping like uh, on your computer, like at, you know, on eBay or wherever you decide to do your shopping at. Uh, one program that you're going to want to have on your computer is Komodo. Uh, Komodo Firewall. They also have like a internet security that comes with the antivirus. Uh, if you want to use a antivirus, it's okay. Uh, although it's not as good as Avera, but uh, it's still a pretty good antivirus on there. But if you want to keep Avera uh, antivirus and do the Komodo, uh, make sure you uncheck um, uncheck the uh, antivirus on it because you don't want more than one antivirus on your computer at a time. Now another program to have on your computer. It, and it's a very good program. A lot of people seem to like this program. It's called Glary Utilities. And Glary Utilities is a registry cleaner. And it's not only a registry cleaner, it does a lot of other great stuff on there. Uh, see, it got the registry cleaner, shortcut fixer, startup manager, temporary files cleaner, tracks, eraser, spyware remover. Uh, will, if you click on the modules tab, you'll have a startup manager, memory optimizer, uh, contact menu manager, a registry defrag. Um, you also have disk cleaner, registry cleaner, shortcut fixer, uninstall manager, uh, and so on, so on. It gets a lot of other great stuff. Like uh, it also has a file shredder, which is right here. It's good for you know erasing files that you don't want nobody else to see, and that a simple uh, recovery software wouldn't be able to recover that file. Anyway, that's Glary Utilities. I have a more in-depth tutorial uh, over over here in the description. Okay, another great program to have on your computer would be K-Lite, uh, K-Lite Mega Kodak Pack. Um, it used to be, well, they also have a K-Lite uh, Kodak Pack, this regular one. Uh, that's also good, too. But this is the Mega Kodak Pack. Um, this is good so that you'll be able to watch, you know, just about any file, uh, uh, movie file that you could get. Like, if you're downloading movies and stuff like that, you'll need this right here to watch it. Also... I like to have two of them on here, so I also put VLC media player. If for some reason that K Lite's not able to read the media file or is not reading it right, I have VLC player, you know, as a backup, um, or I just use VLC. Period. Another good program to have on your computer is Unlocker. Unlocker is a great program. If you ever try to delete a program and for some reason it won't delete and you get an error message, well, what this does is where you know unlock the program or whatever it is that has the program locked, it'll unlock it so that you can delete it. Anyways, uh, that's all the programs that you should have on all your computers when you first get a new computer. Anyways, that's it for this tutorial. Comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you and have a nice day.